For today's makeover, I'm actually going to be using the design that Mariah created in her latest squishy makeover video, which was the dessert burger. And because I'm sure some of you want to know, yes, I actually did get this piece at a thrift store. So first, I'm going to sand this, partly to get some of the coloring off, and partly because I need to remove some of the texture around the edges of the piece. I wasn't able to remove too much of the texture around the edges, so I ended up deciding to use this side as the back side, so it doesn't really matter in the end. So now I'm just going to paint this whole side white to try and cover up the words a little bit more, but honestly it doesn't really matter because it will be the back. So on the back there was a hook and some staples to probably hang this on the wall, but I didn't want to hang it on the wall, and this was actually going to be the front for me, so I wanted to remove them, so for the hook I used my hands and the help of a screwdriver, and then for the staples I just used some pliers. So at the top I sketched out some drips to act as the whipped cream, then I added a line to be the top bun, and then a little bit of a drippy line which was the pink frosting, and then some more drips which was either white frosting or more whipped cream, and then finally I added a line at the bottom, so the top part of the line was the burger brownie patty, and the bottom was the bottom bun. Then I painted in the appropriate color for each section and I did a couple of coats of each color. And finally, using a small dotting tool, I added in the sprinkles. I do know that for Mariah's original dessert burger design, she didn't use circular sprinkles for the whipped cream, but I decided to anyways. After the sprinkles, I brought the design over to the edges, but I didn't paint the back, I just left it white. For the back, I painted on some matte Mod Podge, and then for the front and sides, I did a spray gloss. <laughs> 